Hello and Assalamu alaikum. This is Salman Masood here, and today we are going to talk about uh, PHP and MySQLi CRUD operation. So, first of all, we will learn that how to fetch data from a table in from MySQLi table uh, into a PHP page. So, let's start. All we have to start our XAMPP server. Uh, before proceeding with this uh, tutorial you have to install XAMPP server which I have uh, to, uh, told in my Urdu lectures so just go there and learn that how to install XAMPP server and then you will find this type of GUI and press this start button and Apache and MySQL ok now it's time to go to the browser and then I'm going to write localhost. My port number is 8181. How I come to know that my port number is 8181? You can see, you may see uh, 8181, or you can find on config files. And just press Ctrl F and write listen. Find next, 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 and then you will see your port number. It is not uh, mandatory that your port number will be 8181. It could be something like 8080 or 80. Okay. Then you have to write that port number over here. And uh, my port number is 8181. And write PHP my admin. Okay. And let's press enter. Okay. I already have a database and a table, but for a new uh, learner or visa newcomers. I'm going to explain from scratch. So, if you are new to this, then press database, okay, and create a database. Like I'm going to create a database which name is demo, and then press this button create. Okay, uh, where is the database here? In you after creating, you will find your database uh, over here in the list of all database, and just click it. And I'm going to make a table create table tbl underscore book ok the table name is book and uh, I'm gonna write some fields book underscore id integer auto increment auto increment and primary key ok book underscore name and uh, book name is var char data type and the length of this text will be 50 maximum ok and the next will be book price now that's enough to learn okay and then I'm gonna execute this Just copy and press this go button okay you will get a new table name as TBL book and then just click on this table and I'm going to insert some data insert into table insert into TBL underscore book and then just double click this comma this values English comma price is 300 just copy this and press go data is successfully inserted no the mistake is over here into insert into the spelling stick ok now put some more data like Urdu oh, I am going to write multiple query this time maths computer and then just 
okay then click over here detail book you will find all this data in the form of this table now my target is to display all this sql data into a php page okay now i have to go to the c drive xam folder and uh, in the xam folder find htdocs and make a folder press right click new folder test or uh, the test is already present over here so i have to change it to test 2 okay test 2 and in this folder i am going to make some folders which is mandatory for a uh, web complete web development like js uh, img it is a good practice to make this folder in the beginning cs pages includes this will contain the master page and some connection strings and now uh, I have uh, I have to go to the editor which uh, is uh, Dreamweaver or uh, I'm this time I'm going to use sublime text which is far better than Dreamweaver so let's start it okay, okay uh, the folder is already open which uh, uh, is ABC the last project okay now I'm going to remove this folder okay close all these things get a new folder open folder c drive xamp in xamp htdocs and the folder name was test2 let's select this folder we will get this ok now file new file ok and after getting the new file write a code just write talk type html open html close add section close and then body it should be familiar with html5 for learning php now i'm going to save it in the xam folder htdocs and my directory name was test2 and this file name will be index.php okay now it's time to make a connection folder connection file so i'm going to take a new file and uh, going to write a php code which is yes, php okay so uh, this is comment sign so I'm going to write h u p t what does it stands for h for host host name is localhost because I'm running this website locally on XAMPP server after uh, I should save this first um, in the HT docs and test to includes folder and the file name will be connection dot php okay host h u p d u for user dollar user user is root dollar p for password and the password is nothing null and d stands for database so just remember this code hupd you will always remember this sequence host user password database my database name was uh, what was my database name just see where tbl Oh, my database name was uh, demo so just go over here and write demo okay and terminate it now it's time to call a function which will connect the data to the database sqli underscore connect my sqli underscore connect and which will take 
the following sequence which is hupd host user password so you don't have to remember the sequence when you remember this code host user sorry comma password comma database okay and save it into a folder connection which will contain a connection string so i'm going to write con just put double n okay. otherwise it will generate some error on windows level on operating system level okay now it's time to check whether i'm applying a condition whether the uh, database is successfully connected or not so i have to uh, put some con if else construct if and else from basic programming construct and if this variable contains some problem which is this method this object actually this is object which is calling this function okay if there is any error so it will display this uh, style is equals to color which is red failed to connect data paste so yes. otherwise just copy this text and paste it over here and write connected database yeah successfully connected and just put the color green so in this video we will only check that um, whether our database is connected successfully or not and in the next video we will show that how to get all that data which data this that's it okay which is in my sqli table okay now it's time to call this on my index page okay in the body section i'm going to write a code which is uh, first of all i have to write a php tag in uh, uh, in the php tag i'm calling a function include so uh, where is my this connection php file it is present in the include folder so i have to write includes slash connection dot php okay finally it's over sorry now go and run this project so i'm going to write localhost colon 8181 and then this time I'm going to write the name of my project which is which is uh, test 2 okay there is some error but a uh, connected database warning mysql i underscore connect access denied user at the error okay, okay 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 so what was the error error was this my I have uh, put some space in my password which is uh, not applicable so I remove this password and going to check again local host 8181 and uh, the, sorry test 2 and this time successfully ok so see you in the next video keep watching and sharing and this video was uh, uh, demanded by some Indian fans um, and some Indian student Thank you for subscribing and giving me so much respect. I have crossed my thousand subscribers just because of you guys. So please keep subscribing and watching my YouTube channel. Thank you. Love is.